Good day, sparkling learners. It's teacher Jen again. For today's math, we will continue the lesson that we had last Tuesday. And that's about comparing numbers. And for today, you will need your Power Math Book 1B, some writing materials, your digit cards, and your pothole model. So pause this video and have them ready. Let's now head on to our world and wealth. Today, children, we are still learning to compare numbers. What are we still learning today? Very good. Can you tell me what I am looking for in this lesson? Do you still remember? Okay, let's read together. I can use less than, greater than, and equal to symbols to compare two-digit numbers. To begin our lesson, let's have a review of what we learned yesterday. Complete each number sentence using less than, greater than, or equal to symbol. Write your answers on your whiteboard or paper. So, pause this video and do this review activity. Are you done? Let's check your answers. 21 is less than 30. And 34 is greater than 31. Did you get both of them right? Well done. What do we need to remember when comparing numbers? When comparing numbers, look first at the number of tens each number has. If they have different numbers of tens, then you don't need to compare the number of ones. But if they have the same numbers of tens, then look at the number of ones. So, let's remember this as we continue with our lesson activities. Let's proceed to our next activity. Create a number that is greater than 15 using two of the following digit cards. How many different numbers can you find? Pause this video and list down the possible answers. Let us now sort this out. Hmm. If we want to find all the possible answers, what strategy do you think can we use? Wow, you still remember that. Let's do it systematically. Since we're looking for numbers greater than 15, which number should we start from? That's right. Let's start from number 16. Now let's see, can we create 16 using these digit cards? We have one, but we don't have six here. So we can't create that number. Let's keep going. How about 17? What do you think? Still, we can't create that number. 18? Nope. 19. We don't have number 9 here, so we can still create that number. 20? Can we list 20? Still nope, because we don't have 0 in these digit cards. How about 21? Can we create that number? We have 2 and then we have 1. Yes, we can create 21. Is 21 greater than 15? Definitely. 
Let's read this number sentence. 21 is greater than 15. Do you have this in your list? Very good. Now let's keep going. How about 22? Nope, we can't create 22 because we only have one digit card showing number 2. How about 23? We have 2 and then we have 3. So yes, we can create 23. 23 is greater than 15. Do you have this? Great job. Let's continue. How about 24? We can't create 24. 25? No. 26? No. Again, 27. We still can't create that number. 28. There's no 8 here. 29. 30. How about 31? We have 3 and 1 here. So yes, we can create 31. Do you have this in your list as well? Very good. Let's read the number sentence. 31 is greater than 15. Let's continue. After 31, what's the next number? Yes, 32. Can we create 32? 3 and 2 are here, so yes, we can create 32. 32 is greater than 15. Do you also have this in your list? Well done! Now children, should we still keep on going? Do we still need to keep counting on? What do you think? You're right! 32 is the last possible answer because it's the biggest number we could create using these digit cards. So, we have to stop there. And there you have the answers, children. All these numbers, 21, 23, 31, and 32, are greater than 15. Do you have the same answers as mine? Now I'll give you the same activity as this as your practice. Write all the numbers that could be used to complete each number sentence. List down all the possible answers for letter A and all the possible answers for letter B on your whiteboard or paper. Try doing this systematically. Pause again this video until you're done. Time to check your answers. For letter A, we are looking for numbers greater than 34. And so, here are the answers. We have 39, 35, and 38. Were you correct? For letter B, we are looking for numbers that are less than 49. And so, here are the answers. 42, 40, 46, 45, 43, and 48. All these numbers are less than 49. All checked? Perfect. Kiss your brain. Let's have one last activity before you do your book work. Let's find out who swam more lengths. Is it Jita or Charles? Look at this score sheet and use this number line to help you out. According to Flo, try to think of all of these numbers on a number line. So where do we find Jita's number? or 45. Okay, how about 41? There. 
Let us use a part whole model to show tens and ones of each number. We'll start with the number of Jita, which is 45. How many tens does 45 have? Four tens. And what number is four tens? Forty. Four tens is equal to forty. Now, how many ones does forty-five have? Five ones. And what number is five ones? Five. So, forty-five has four tens and five ones. We can also say that forty-five has forty and five. Can you now fill in this part whole model for number 41? 41 has 40 and 1. Now children, write a number sentence comparing 45 and 41. Again, pause this video to do so. Okay. Let's check. 45 and 41 have the same number of tens. They both have four tens, or they both have 40. And that means we have to compare the number of ones. You may want children to cross out the number of tens since they are the same. This way, you won't get confused when you compare the number of ones. Now, since we know that 5 is bigger or greater than 1, therefore, 45 is greater than 41. Or, we could say that 41 is less than 45. Either of these number sentences is correct. Did you also get it right? Well done. Now complete this sentence. Who swam more lengths? Jita swam more lengths. Very good, children. You are such sparkling learners. As promised, this is the last practice exercise for today's math lesson. Mm, I just have one very last question for all of you. Were you able to compare numbers? And were you able to use these comparing symbols to compare two-digit numbers? Then you are all amazing. You may now answer page 68, number 4, and page 69 of your Power Math Practice Book 1B. That's all for today's math lesson. Thank you for being awesome. See you again next time. Bye!